Hey guys, what's up everybody? Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to just have a little chit chat and get ready, um, even though I'm not going anywhere. And I'm gonna answer why I have not uploaded in probably over a year. So if you're interested in seeing an eye look I create, just playing around and where have I been, then please stay tuned. So today we are going to just play around with the Fierce by Nature 3503 Morphe palette. I know it's been out for a while. I think I bought it on Black Friday in 2019, I think. And I have yet to play with it because I took a hiatus from YouTube and doing this. And I will explain why while doing a makeup look with this palette. So as you guys know, this palette is 35 shades. And it looks like that. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm so excited to play around with this. And then it has the little paper in it that has all the names on it. So we are going to go ahead and get started. So while I look for, it's been a while since I've done this, so bear with me. And all my stuff is moved around. So as you can tell, I have a different background than the last time I was on. Where is my brow stuff? Here it is. Um, so, reason being is my husband and I recently bought a house. <laughs> so, that is why the background is different. And you are currently, we are currently set up in my bedroom. <laughs> so, this is my bedroom. Welcome. <laughs> So this is my new makeup space. So I try to keep it, my little corner as clean as possible. So right now I'm just gonna go in with the Instant Lift Brow Pencil by e.l.f. I'll say it's been a while since I have played with any makeup, so bear with me. So yeah, we bought a house in May of 2020 and we've settled on it in June I think and then finally moved in the beginning of July so that's where that's that story oh wow I kind of forget how I uh I forget how to do brows <laughs> I was never good at it anyway but now I'm really like, okay, maybe I'm not going to use that one. I thought I liked that one. I guess I didn't. So now we're going to try this NYX brow pencil. Oh yeah, this one has the smaller thing. So we're going to use that one. Bear with me guys, bear with me. So yeah, we bought a house and we were living in Norfolk, Virginia, because my husband is in the military. So we were living in Norfolk, um, but we decided during a pandemic to buy a freaking house. <laughs> um, and we decided to just like try to look um, around because the neighborhood we were living in in Norfolk was pretty crappy. I mean, if any of you guys, crap, is my brow pencil not gonna work now? If any of you guys like are in the Virginia area or know Virginia, then you know Norfolk is like a shitty area. And um, where we lived, there was 
uh, this is not working too well. Where we live, there was literally two murders that happened less than a mile from our house. So that was kind of like the breaking point for me because at that point we had um, my son. So and like he couldn't even like, I didn't, oh, I don't know. I didn't want him like playing outside or like, I didn't even want to like walk around the neighborhood because it was like terrifying. Um, so come to find out the one that was like literally right down the street from our house was drug related. And the second one that was a little farther away from our house, um, pretty sure that one was drug related too, but not 100% sure. Um, but that one happened in like broad, literally like broad daylight, like 1.30 in the afternoon. So yeah, that's the reason for that. So we bought a house in Virginia Beach. Um, if you guys are familiar with the area, I'll have to do, we're kind of doing, well, <laughs> I wanted, I decided to like start, want to do like some reservations, or reservations, some renovations to it. So like the previous owners had like this ugly, um, shelf thing in one of the rooms downstairs and then the wall, I mean the shelf thing wasn't bad. But the wall behind it was painted like orange and blue. So it was really ugly. So one night at like 9 30, 10 o'clock at night, <laughs> I asked my husband, I'm like, babe, like where's the hammer? He's like, why? I was like, just where is it? So I got the hammer and I like we started tearing down the shelves. <laughs> He's like, Jesus. Um so we did that and then I was just gonna like paint over the orange and blue, but then like once we started like tearing it down, I guess from like previous owners and like previous owners, they like painted that wall like six times. So there was like the orange and blue on it. Then there was like a purple underneath and there was like a pink and then there was like a white. And there was like a gray. So I was just like, screw it. And then I decided to just, um, tear down the entire drywall. So right now we just have an empty or er, drywall missing from that part of the wall in <laughs> one of the downstairs rooms <laughs> in one of like the living area. Um, well, that's my husband's like gaming area. That's where he plays. That's his room for his video games. And then upstairs, in this hall bathroom which is actually right next to me they had like i don't know what you call it but it was like that um uh that like weird lighting that had like the it's like paneled out it kind of reminded me of like elementary school middle school so it was like paneled out that had like the plastic pop-up panels and that was the lighting. So I hated it. <laughs> so guess what? Once again, at like nine o'clock at night, I decided to go up there with a hammer and um, start ripping it out. So that's currently missing drywall too. I had all intentions of like putting the drywall back up myself, but then my dad told me like not how hard it was, but how like time consuming it was. So now I'm just gonna have my neighbor do it <laughs> eventually, um, sometime in the new year. Oh, happy new year to everybody, by the way. So that is that. So I'll have to do like. Maybe I'll do like a before and after like house tour for you guys. Because it's kind of a disaster right now. Even though we moved in in July. <laughs> it's still kind of a disaster. 
but we did get one um one thing done I wanted shiplap on the wall like where our main like living living space living area so my husband did put the shiplap up so now I'm just priming my eyes with the P. Louise base um so we did get that up which is like I love it it's so pretty so I'll do like if you go on my Facebook which I think is linked um either in the description box or up on my like <clears throat> cover picture I have an album from like home renovations so you'll see it but maybe I'll do like a before and after video once we get everything like done if we ever get everything done there's so much I want to do to this house but being in the military I don't know if I want to waste my money on it considering that we might not be here like this isn't going to be our forever home because we're mostly going to have to move again eventually so there's that situation so but there's a lot of stuff I want to do but then I think about it and I'm like because I want to redo the kitchen I want to redo the bathrooms like I might redo the bathrooms because that'll help us if we do end up selling it eventually later on hopefully not anytime soon but yeah that is one reason why I haven't been on and the second reason is hey I had a baby I had a baby girl in July um, July 7th actually so she'll be six months in like two days from when I'm filming this um, so yeah surprise I um, the last time I filmed was right before the Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson launch and I think it was October and I didn't know I was pregnant we went to Maryland where I'm from for Halloween um yeah it was right before the Shane Dawson Jeffy Star launch because I was home in Maryland for their launch so I went home we went home for that and then when we got back I took a pregnancy test and found out I was pregnant so I had all intentions of like filming like through my pregnancy and stuff but it was a rough pregnancy like with my first with my first son Colton or with my first kid Colton that pregnancy was like easy breezy this one was rough like I was uh I wasn't sick all the time but I was nauseous as shit all the time like it was terrible like I would not have been able to sit down for more than like five minutes without feeling I had to get sick but I never got sick so that was the crappy part <clears throat> I was just nauseous all the time but never actually got sick like I couldn't even like go in because we always drive up to Maryland to see my family for at least Thanksgiving so like it was even I couldn't even be in a car for that long because it was just oh I was nauseous all the time unless I had the window like all the way down so it was it it was something man I don't know what the deal with that was maybe because it was a girl I don't know so yeah she'll be six months old and then um then I kind of just like after I had her I kind of had like no motivation to do anything because I did have her uh naturally well I had a uh, epidural so it wasn't like all natural um so it took me a little while to heal and all that fun stuff afterwards and then the new year came and I was like you know what 
I need to get back into this YouTube situation because I have a desk full of stuff I need to like film and review and even though it's not like I'm not really going to review it because it's been out already for a while but just like my first impression I guess you can say oh I really need to uh, practice doing this off camera I really need to go get them waxed I kind of um plucked them myself last night so they're a little bit like I haven't done anything it's been crazy so I decided that I was gonna get my butt back in here so the other day I set up I reset up this whole setup and got everything organized and decided to come back and film and if you're wondering why i'm wearing this it's because after this child my hair right here like it's a lot better than it was but all this like all back here like you see it's all short like all right here and all back here it all fell out after ha like four months after four or five months after having her like my hair thinned out so much that's why it's up right now because it's so thin so this just started growing back thank god don't mind all my gray hairs but it was bad i wish i would have taken a picture like beforehand like it was literally like bald like i looked like i had a receding hairline it happened like that with my son too but not as bad but this is like my hair is breaking like when i take a shower my wall or my wall is covered but it's covered like i'll brush my hair before i take a shower and my hairbrush is full and i'll brush it after and it's full and then like in the shower it's ugh, it's terrible i feel like i'm gonna go bald with the amount of hair i lose it's disgusting so now that i would go get um her but she's in bed because it's currently like 8 30 right now so i will insert a clip what are you doing you trying to find your big brother I am I am right here honey I'm right here I'm right here hello do 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 what are you doing little monkey what is happy honey trying to get up. What are you doing? Okay. So we are gonna go ahead and go in with I think I'm gonna play with the oranges. So I think I'm gonna stick with this corner like right here. Maybe like a dark brown. So I think I'm gonna go in with, all right, bear with me because it's been a while since I've done this. Um, I think I'm gonna go in with Ball of Fire, which is this one right here, this orange. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on my crease. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do that and see how that works out. The other thing I hate about Morphe palettes is they don't have a freaking mirror. That would be crazy. So I'm gonna pack this right here. Bear with me, cause it has been a while for your girl. And I kind of forget what I'm doing here.
Do I still have pink on my brush? pink look. That is my daughter, you guys hear. She's starting to fuss a little bit. Let's see who she is on the, on the monitor. If you guys can see her. She's right there moving around, moving a little butt all around. She's like a mother, moves all around to get comfortable. Oh yeah, that is my baby. Okay, she's, she's getting teeth. She's trying to teeth, oh, she's been teething. One tooth is trying to like pop through so bad. It would pop through a little bit, but that's it. She's in like super, like she is a completely different like experience from my first born, Colton. He was like easy baby, so easy, slept so good, that was fantastic. She she's easy for the most part, but for the first like five months. I was strictly nursing and then come to find out she had a dairy allergy so I had to do that fun stuff and completely cut all dairy out of my diet so that wasn't fun so I couldn't have I couldn't have anything I couldn't have cheese I don't drink milk so it didn't bother me but do you know how much stuff, like, is in, or how much, like, dairy is in, like, everything? It's ridiculous. So, that was fun stuff. And then we went home, and I went to Maryland for uh, the holidays, and then just kind of... She just kind of stopped. Um, God, this eye always turns out like so much better than the other eye. I don't know why. So she kind of stopped the um, nursing. So now she's on formula. So now I can eat all the dirt again. So yeah, I think this orange just like blends out like pink. You see how it's like blending out kind of pinkish around the edges? Yeah, this eye always turns out so much better than this one. Like this one looks all janky. Like, especially, like, right here. I don't want it to go up, like, that high, but it always does. And then I try to, like, do this. And then I just F it up even more. better. Now I gotta do my eyebrow. Oh girl, I just need to stop. <laughs> like whoever told me, hey Nicole, go get this bright idea and start a flipping YouTube channel. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who would ever tell your girl that. Because this girl has no idea what the French toast she is doing. 
Um, don't mind my, uh, my like non-cussing words, because <laughs> that's what happens when you have kids. <laughs> and you want to cuss, but then you're like, oh, shit. They're going to repeat everything you say. So we say, <laughs> we don't say curse words anymore in this house. <laughs> we say, oh, my French toast, or oh, my Lanta. <laughs> I have my kids saying that now. <laughs> so funny. They'll go around, oh, my Lanta. I'm in bed. There's something wrong with you. And then he just starts cracking up laughing. See, now I'm going to go in and mess this up. Like, completely. Because that's what I do. Let me just stop before I mess it up. Because that's what's going to happen. See, because on camera, it looks like janky right there. But right here, it doesn't look janky. So you just kind of blend and soften that little lineup I just created. See, and I have to go like extra high on my eyes because I have super hooded eyes. Like, you see that? Whoop! That's why I go so far up, if you were curious. <laughs> because your girl's got hooded eyes. And there's nothing I can do about that. So, there's that. Like, I want to do a cut crease but I have not mastered the cut crease. I don't think I ever will. So guess what? No cut crease here. So I think I'm gonna go in now. Well, since this like isn't orange, like this is supposed to be orange. It was that color, what color is this? Or maybe I'm just like colorblind, I don't know. Ball of fire. So it's this one, like. It looks orange, right? To me, it looks orange. I don't know. I don't know about you, but to me, it looks orange. So now I don't know what to do. So I think we're gonna go in with you know, since this like top looks pink, I think I might just go in. I wish there was a maybe I'll do this red right next to it. Called what's it called? I hate this. Like, why can't they just put the damn names on the freaking palette? It's called Red Alert. So we're gonna go with Red Alert. Right here. On the outer V. I don't know what's going on down there. I had the door open. I hear my kid laughing. I hear my husband telling about something out the door. I don't even know. Now my kid's getting mad. I don't know what's going on down there. And again, this look is not turning out how I wanted it. I quit. I quit, I quit, I quit. <laughs> I quit. And I think I'm just going to go in with, like, I'm just going to be done with this look. Because it ain't working how your girl wanted it. Okay, I don't need a new one of these. I'm like rubbing it like. <laughs> so I think, oh no, where'd my towel go? So I think now I'm just gonna go in with a shimmer and just be done with this situation altogether. I think I'm gonna go in with this like gold, right dead smack in the middle. And that is called Make Believe. I'm just going to use my finger. 
see how this works. Since everything else is getting all effed up. And it's probably not going to go my way. Yeah, I'm going to use a wet brush because I don't like with all that going on with the finger. And now my kid's crying again. What is going on down there? I'm just going to use some setting spray. Wet my brush a little bit. And then put it. I keep hearing the door open. That doesn't look too, too bad. Doesn't look too bad. So yeah, now I know what's going on down there. My child has a tendency not to flush the toilet. So yeah, that's what's going on. And that's why he's crying, because he probably got in trouble for not flushing the toilet. Not in trouble, but yeah. So yeah, that's what's happening down there. So this, okay, this didn't turn out that bad anymore like now they kind of saved it with this gold glitter it doesn't look too bad right now so yeah there's some more looks i want to do with this palette but they're like fall looks i guess so yeah, I will be right back. I'm gonna go do my face off camera and kind of blend this out some more. And I am back and this is the finished look. So I Hello, um, a future me here. So I am editing my video I did and I noticed that either I didn't blend one side of my contour or the shadow from I me mean, not having light on that side is really bad. So if you're watching it, just don't mind that part. <laughs> okay. I just went in and used the Ball of Fire and Red Alert, these two colors under my eye and then added frenzy in the inner corner and then I used a Jeffree Star celebrity skin liquid lip um, but as I, it was drying out it was like turning my lips purple so on top of that I used the ColourPop ultra glossy lip in a tension haul and then for my foundation I used the L'Oreal, they're both L'Oreal, the Infallible and the True Match. Still, these two are my go-to. This one is like the best. The only thing that like sucks about it is the smell. It smells like roses. I don't like it. And I went in with the Kiss Lashes in Natural 01 and Colourpop Concealer and Hoola Benefit Bronzer. Oh, I am impressed with this palette, except for that orange color, the ball of fire. I thought it was going to be orange, but it kind of turned out like pink-ish. But I do like the pigment. And um, yeah, so I do like this palette. I will be playing with it like later on in the year once it gets like fall. Oh yeah, and I used the Becca setting powder. I wanted to try that, so I got to try it out. Um, so yeah. I do like this so far. But yeah, other than that, I am officially back and I have a whole bunch of stuff over here that I will be um, 
coming out and playing with. Not necessarily reviewing because they are older products. So yeah, thanks everybody. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give me a big thumbs up.